Hey, hello guys, how are you doing? I hope great. I'm GBGGS91 here. But first, let me explain something. If you notice the difference between the health and armor that I exited the map 2 on the previous video and the health and armor that I started this video on map 3, that's because I have some problem or because I had some problems with those they they ended yesterday. So I have to uninstall, reinstall and redo all the configs and because of that as well I lost my save of the game so I have to replay map 1 and map 2 again so yeah but that's not a big concern and also on this time that I was sick I noticed that my channel surpassed the 100 subscribers mark so yay thank you very much that means my work here on my channel is being appreciated by some people so thank you all to all of my sub subscribers for your likes, your comments and for watching my videos so I really appreciate that so thank you very much anyway be welcome again to my 100% walkthrough of Ultimate Doom for the PC play it through the Doomsday Engine source port on the ultra violence difficulty this video is the gameplay of episode 3, map 3, that is called Pandemonium. Pandemonium, by the way, according to some literature out there, Pandemonium is the name of the main city or capital of hell. So, yeah, thanks the wiki for that. So, yeah, very cool curiosity that I like to tell you. Anyway, let's get to the video now. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is to kill this demon right off the bat If you are Chang'un, yeah, he's very close to you So the first thing that I do is go to the right side And kill those enemies on this room Just a few imps and a demon, nothing too much And then I go to this hallway and kill the enemies on the hallway Including this annoying lost soul but I don't go to this hallway just yet, we'll come back to this hallway later. So let's grab all the ammo and go back to the starting area. Now I go up the stairs, and kill the imps on this wooden area. Very easy. Okay, now you notice you have some stairs to your left and to your right. I look to hide a little bit here to kill the demons up the stairs. One by one. That was one. And that was two. This switch, when you flip it, it will lower the central pillar behind you, revealing the shotgun. So if you're on a pistol start, that's how you grab the shotgun. If you go back here to the starting area, you can grab some ammo as well on these little doors, alcoves here. So yeah. Now I like to have my chain gun ready and let's start to the right side first Going up the stairs and go to our left And left again to kill this single lost soul And grab all the items around here And I really have to say I really like the overall design of this section with those pink hellish walls And the red sky as well, it's very hellish <laughs> Yeah, we are in hell, remember? Okay, so let's go to the other side and kill this specter. And go to exploring this section. Go down here. And go down to the silver area where we have the blue key. And grab some items as well. And yeah, you can see the starting area from this window. So let's go back. Now you must be a little bit careful here because this is a one time lift if you don't take it. You cannot grab the mega armor that is right off the corner here, but be careful because this section here for the redstone is a damaging floor. But I have the lucky to not be damaged. <laughs> oh well. Alright, so from the switch, let's go to the left side now. And go to our left again. To kill this lost soul. Grab the ammo. Go down on this lift. To grab more items around here. And yeah, that's their starry area again. So let's down this spinal cord lift that I found kinda cool. And I'll go to this side, to the right side, grab this rocket, 
Now fall down here to grab this energy cell pack and there's a little opening right here, you see there's a shotgunner there. Like to use the chain gun or the shotgun to kill him. Now run to his ledge and kill this lost soul. Now this section here must be quick here to not take too much damage. You see this section here where you have some lava merging with the blood that I found kinda cool as well. So run to there. Grab the Soul Sphere, go back and run to this ledge right here to grab this brand new weapon that is called the BFG 9000. Oh yes, the powerful weapon of the entire Doom franchise. You see how? The BFG is a short for Bio Force Gun 9000, but the developers or the Doom community likes to call this weapon the big fucking gun that I found it's fits better for the BFG, you see why. Alright, so let's switch to our chain gun. And I'll find this ledge right here. Go down the stairs in our little bear of hell. Kill this imp. And kill this specter. Be careful of this water here because it's damaging. Grab this vulnerability. Grab the BFG. And fire one single shot to the bear of hell. Okay, and he's dead. Yes, the BFG can kill a barrel of hell in one single hit, if you're skilled enough that I wasn't. Since we are vulnerable, let's kill those enemies around here. Alright. Now on this section here, I like to go down the stairs first. And hello wimp. Just to kill the enemies down here. There are a group of demons, some imps, a single specter, and I think a caca demon. Okay, there's the there's the specter. One imp. There's a caca demon down here, I know. Where is he? Oh, here it is. Hello, Kako. Okay, and you're dead. There's the imp. Alright, so let's go to this little passageway here to grab the ammo. And I really like the detail of this alcoves here, it's very hellish with those despair faces. Alright, so let's go to the section, grab more ammo. And yeah, we are just back to the starting area, so let's go back, because we have more business to do here. So let's go to this side, with this inverted cross shaped passageway, and go to the left, to kill some imps, up here. Okay. Now this section here, you see this kind of little couch here. When you step on it, the right wall here will lower, reveal some items, and also a secret area. So yay. Now to lower the left wall, what you have to do is to just approach it. But I have to like have to like my rocket launcher ready, just fire two rockets to kill those demons. And tag another secret area with some ammo inside. There is the blue door, if you want, you can exit this map right now, but we I don't, because I have more exploring to do here. If you go to this little alcove here, and you flip the switch, it will raise the stairs to the mega armor, but I will save it, since I have a good mega armor in a good shape. So let's go down the stairs, go all the way to the starting area, because now we'll go to explore the right side, I will skip it, this hallway. I like to have my chain gun ready just to kill this specter here on the left alcove, be careful of him. Grab the bullets, and let's try to find a little alcove here on the right, yes. Lead it to this room with those annoying lost souls inside. I like to kill the lost souls first before I enter the room. Like that. And now go inside the room, that is a secret area by the way. And I really like the looking of this room. And be careful, don't fall down here because it may like... Oh, hello there. <laughs> okay, so like I was saying here, this is not water, it's poison. So if you fall down here, you're dead. Be careful. So let's go across, switch to my chain gun to kill those two demons. Now the next section is a very good section to use the BFG again. So what I like to do is just to charge the BFG, and fire this whole bunch of 
lost souls and kill that cacodine. It's the easy way to deal with this section. Now let's go across this bridge. Kill this imp. Now flip the switch. We will lace the floor here with two demons. So I like to use the chain gun to kill him or to kill them. And I think you found down here on accident on this hole there's a switch that will raise the floor for you. So don't worry. But the demons will bite you. <laughs> so be careful. Anyway, another secret area with some items. So grab those and finally we have a backpack. So yay. And also don't forget to grab this berserk pack. Let's go back. But I really like the overall design of this area with the red walls and the lava. Okay, we are done with the section, so let's exit this area. Now kill this the group of imps that were coming from that intestinal pillars texture section there. More imps? Good. Now this room this room here on the left, there is a very easy to miss secret area. We feel Chain gun. Yes? <laughs> Alright, let's go to this intestinal wall pillar section area. Hey, just look what we have behind this pillar. Yes indeed, a pair of hell. So, you guess it, let's use the BFG on him. Yes, the pair of hell is no match for a BFG shot. <laughs> Alright, so let's grab the ammo. This wooden section and open this door and yep we are back here remember now I like to have my BFG ready again and before I open the blue door let just see what happens I absolutely love to do this <laughs> a BFG blast can kill a group of enemies so easily yep that's the power of the BFG folks Alright, before I exit, I just will grab that mega armor that I saved. And yeah, we are finally done with this map. There's the exit. Let's see if I collect everything. Yep. So, we are done. Let's exit. So that's folks was Pandemonium. What can I say about this map? Well, I pretty much like it. It's a very good map to play. Especially because... In this map, you're introduced to the BFG 9000, the most powerful weapon on their entire game. Yes, the BFG is so powerful that can kill the Bear of Hell on a single shot, or kill a group of enemies with a single blast if you're skilled enough. So yeah, the BFG is an, is an outstanding weapon, for sure. But also, this map is good to play because it has nice gameplay, nice place to explore, you see the map is entirely connected somehow because according to the steering area if you take any path you want to you can explore the entire map even you can finish the map without exploring it uh, uh, in a overall so yeah or in a whole that's what I mean to say but yeah this map is pretty good I pretty much like it the design the most placement and of course the BFG <laughs> Alright, so we are done with Time Pandemonium, so we are moving to episode 3, map 4, that is called House of Pain. Oh yes, pretty much longer map, but a very cool in my opinion as well. So I see you there. I'm JimmyGGS91, and bye bye to everyone. Take care, my friends.